In order to sound like the pros, you have to get punchy in your face drums. The problem with doing that is you often end up using a lot of headroom, which means your masters end up being considerably quieter. But in today's video, I'm gonna take you through techniques I've learned through years of mixing in just a few minutes and show you exactly how I control drum peaks without losing power. Let's take a quick listen to the track we're going to be using today, which is Avalon by Like Mike Ginchy and Alessio Labate, and this is the Navon remix. Now, as we can see and hear, this clap is very, very punchy. it's got a sort of click on the front of it and that's actually taking up a lot of headroom. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with clipping, you'll see in the graph down here, essentially it's gonna clip off the top of that transient. Whereas a compressor brings it down in volume, this actually just cuts it off completely. The clipper I'm using here is the standard clip by Sir Audio Tools. I do recommend everyone gets this. It's very cheap. I think it's like $20 and you'll use it all the time. Music producers. Do you hate Dropbox? Well, Boombox is a new alternative built for musicians by musicians. Obviously, we offer the ability to store, organize, and share your files on an enterprise-grade encrypted network. But we also built features like timestamp text and voice notes. Better playback quality than any of the DSPs, stunning artist-branded shares, dedicated inboxes for receiving files, curated playlist creation, and access to a global network of talented musicians. Maybe it's time to check out boombox.io, the new industry standard. What's great about this plugin is that it has a range of settings that you can flick between and then decide which one suits your sound the best. So let's take a listen. For me, the soft clip classic and the hard clip actually retain the most of the punch of the sound. Now, if you take a look at the meters, here on the left we have the input, on the right we have the output. We can see minus 405. And then on the right we've got minus 11.19. So it's coming in at minus 4 decibels. And then after the clipper, we're actually gaining back about five decibels of headroom. Now we are losing a bit of that punch and we are inducing a bit of distortion, but it adds a bit of flavor to the clap as well. And I think it's gonna sit a lot better in the mix. I'm also gonna add a little bit of gain here to make up for the volume that we've lost. So go ahead and try that technique for yourself. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Boombox channel where we have loads of videos on production, mixing and mastering to make sure that you get better every step of the way. And don't forget that if you're a musician looking to share, store and synergize your creativity, well, you can sign up to Boombox for free today. Link is in the description below and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.